points in my life. Yo, welcome to today's video. This is a big one. It's gonna be a big one. I've literally, I've just recorded the outro to my last video, the one where I went skydiving and tattooed myself while falling. And I'm already stood here now, ready to go on this little beast. Here we go, I'll go show you. I'll, go I'll take you on a tour. In fact, let's make it look cool. Three, two, one, go. All right, so this thing goes so fast that it has a seat belt. <laughs> I think we can rock around at least 10 miles an hour on this beauty. 10 miles an hour. All right, so I'm gonna be crossing America from LA to New York, coast to coast, which is pretty much 3,000 miles. So I'm gonna try for like at least around like 100 miles a day, which is like a month on a mobility scooter. I think they call them rascals here. I've got all the safety precautions covered. Look, I've got my flag. <laughs> <laughs> because we've got brake lights, we've got indicators, we've got mirrors. Look at this. This thing is fully street legal. So I've got my trailer on the back, which is full of spare batteries. The scooter takes four batteries at a time. I've got 20 batteries. Each set of four batteries gets me 40 miles. So in theory, I've got a 200 mile range on this thing. I've got the big backpack there on the back with all my clothes, cables and stuff for charging camera, battery chargers in this bag here, three battery chargers. So along in hotels along the way, I can charge my batteries up. I've got my little bag here with food and drinking. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna be doing this thing completely alone before I go. I forgot a little extra little cherry on top. You ready? You ready, you ready, you ready, ready? Here we go. That's the, t that's what we're talking about. Gotta represent, you know. I've got the key. I've got the truck. Let's go. <laughs> like you get compliments from people. Here we go. <laughs> With a problem. I'm 10 minutes in. I'm gliding along. I've got my music playing. I've got the flag going. And the trailer has disconnected. So that screw that was going through there and holding it on, it's just like come off. The, cr the screw has snapped. The screw is in there and it's snapped. The whole. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I need to. I've got some rope, I think. I've kind of made a system. <laughs> I've got like ropes. I've got these. That might, it should hold it. I'm kind of prepared for this, but I thought like maybe this would happen one week, two weeks in, not 10 minutes, so. <laughs> Let's go. People keep like shouting in the street, telling me I look cute. I mean, I don't know if they're talking about me or the scooter, you know, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take a compliment. We've got a long way to go. Honestly, we've had a lot of problems already. It's not looking good. But, you know, keep positive and see, see if we can do this thing. We've got a nice steady 15 mile an hour. We've already done three miles, you know. Let's just keep rocking and rolling and see what happens. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I feel so cool. Yes! I don't know what's happened, but I've stopped at traffic lights. I thought I might be able to save some battery if I turned the ignition off you know wait till the traffic lights change turn it back on and i don't know what's happened but we've gone from getting like 13 to 15 mile an hour to getting like 10. i mean to be fair that's the fastest i've seen it we dropped down to getting like seven mile an hour battery's already showing low but yeah i've not even done 10 miles i'm not even 10 miles into the journey yet that battery should only have one bar missing if we're only going to be doing 10 miles per set of batteries then i've only got like a 50 mile range a day which now takes me from a one month trip to a two month trip. I'm struggling to get five mile an hour now. I keep turning the, the ignition off and on. Oh, we've got six mile an hour now. Wow. We're gonna be there in no time. Yeah. Let's try this bad boy out. Brakes off. Oh, we're going uphill. We're starting on a hill, which isn't good. 10 mile an hour. 11, 12. I'm going right through downtown LA. 
This is awesome. That sun's going down quick though. I think it's going to be dark real soon. Look at that. That sun is low. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> So I've just had to change batteries again. The battery died. I don't know if you, it's just down there. Massive, massive steep hill. The battery died on the hill. So I, I had to push it all the way up. In really big, long, steep hill. I don't know if you can hear me, it's really loud here. So each set of batteries is doing 10 miles. I've got five sets of batteries. So the original thing is I thought each set of batteries would do 40 miles, like it says on the website. But I think because we're pulling all this weight, then batteries are really heavy. We're losing a lot. So we're getting 10 miles. Started at Santa Monica. I've now got over there. I've gone through downtown LA. That red dot is meant to be the destination today. It's already 4.30 PM. I've used two out of three of my batteries. It's not happening, is it? <laughs> Let's just face it. It's not happening. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I just keep going. I just keep going. It's dark now. I don't know why it looks still looks bright on camera, but I've had to put my headlights on. Put my headlights on. We're on battery set number three now. Everyone keeps laughing and smiling at me. I like it, it's good. It cheers people up. It's getting real dark now. It's getting really dark. I mean, I'm on like a bike lane. I don't know if you can see. I just pulled over to get my hoodie on because it's getting cold. And uh, this dude started talking to me like a proper thick American accent. I didn't have a clue what he was saying. But yeah, it's the first time I've ever shaken someone's hand who's got a finger missing. And I didn't see it until I shook it. So it, it caught me off guard. <laughs> Another one off the bucket list. <laughs> yeah, let's continue on my bike ride. Battery's dying. Big hills. <sighs> Did I get that? Did I get that? Pulled over. Pit stop. Pit stop. It's all gone completely wrong. It's all gone completely, completely wrong. I, I made a little wrong turn and I realized, so I tried to reverse back, ended up T-boning the trailer. And then two more times since then, my bag on top is just like, fell off. I'm so tired. I just want to get this day done. Uh, I think it's all going absolutely wrong and I need to rethink my strategy. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm not got a hotel. I just want to cry. Day one. All right, so it's the next day. It's the next day. I don't know. I can't remember what the last thing I filmed was. I just, I was just so angry that we could only get 50 mile range. And I was just so tired. It was such a long day. And I'm just thinking of things to do. I just can't, I just like, going to the nearest hotel, I just crashed. I'm in the room right now. Everywhere, everything's a complete mess. Batteries and charges everywhere. I brought all my stuff in. I've never ever been in a hotel room before that has its own kitchen. Literally, I've just been laid here in bed, brainstorming how we can increase that 50 mile range because it's, it's gonna be impossible at 50 mile. If I can only do 50 mile a day, I'm just gonna die in the desert. And that's a, that's a fact. That at one point, I need 140 miles between the hotels in the desert. So 50 miles, I'm just gonna be dead. I'm gonna die. So it's literally impossible. So I've thought of a new idea. And that is a generator. I got a generator at my shop called Lowe's. Just bought a massive generator. I don't need all them batteries. I just have the generator constantly charging the battery that's in use. I gotta get, I gotta go, I gotta get this back. Ah. We should be good to go. I got the generator, I got the charger, everything's good. I can just discard some of the batteries. In theory now, we should have a vehicle that's just like unlimited. It's just like a car. You can keep going and going and going unlimited miles. All you gotta do is put petrol in. <laughs> so to celebrate, I found this while I was out on the road. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that's, that's. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Don't 
don't ask how last night went after that. I've shaved my beard. So along the way, you can see my beard growing, you know, just as like a little bit of a progress thing. And look at this, we've got the new setup ready. Look at this! Generator! We've got the, oh, why, that didn't sound good. Why did you do that? So yeah, I've got the generator set up now. I've ditched all the batteries. There's just four batteries that are in the scooter. And then I've got a charger for each individual battery. And it's on like fast charge, whatever it is. I don't know, it's so early. I'm up at the like crack of dawn. I'm in, uh, I think it's called San Dimas right now. <sighs> Day two, let's get underway. Oh, before I set off, look at this. Look at this, we got Agnes, I'm calling it Agnes. We got Agnes pinstripes, look at this. Kid for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend, came off the bench, I get it in. Oh, look at this, look at this. That is awesome. Thank you very much Von Hot Rod for the, uh, for the pinstripe. His name is actually Von Hot Rod. His real name is Von Hot Rod and he was such an awesome guy. So thank you very much for that, appreciate it. Let's get underway, day two baby, let's go. <laughs> I've not got enough room for my hat. I brought the hat for if the for when the weather starts getting cold. My hat wouldn't fit anywhere, but it's a good hat. It's a good hat, you know, so I've got to wear it. I don't know if I'm shouting, i got music on. I'm listening to music at this right now. I'm in like residential area now. Oh, it's just gone. All right. I'm just, I thought you, ah, me. I've just, all right, I've just gone through like a residential area and now it looks like like industrial area I'm at now. God damn, God damn. I've just filled up some, uh, some gas as the Americans call it. I've just put some petrol in my uh, gasoline tank. We're good to go. I got three gallons of the stuff. And we're here. Yeah, America, America, America. Woo wee. Bike trail, bike road. Yo, I'm getting so many looks. I'm getting nods. I'm getting approvals from people. Laughing, smiling, still got like over 30 days left though, so uh, yeah, wish me luck, wish me luck. 15 mile an hour, baby, woo-wee, we're unstoppable. We're in the mountains now, ladies and gentlemen, the mountains. Let me zoom, mountains. I don't know what uh, Popeyes is, but I'm having one. Okay, you pull up, look out at the after party. Let's go through the drive through I think that's the best. Oh, burgers. Burgers, chicken. Oh, it's chicken. Hello, Bing. Hi, uh, can I just have a chicken burger, please? What was that? Hi, can I just have a chicken burger, please? Just uh, a classic chicken sandwich, please. Uh, okay, whatever you want for today. Uh, that's everything, just the sandwich, thank you. <laughs> no way, no, no. H Street. This street is literally just called H. In the middle of nowhere, middle of nowhere, and my motor died. So I was just riding along, and the generator just weren't on. I don't. I got music and I didn't hear it cut. So I uh, just filled it up. And yeah, uh, we're in. Uh, we're in the mountains now. <laughs> that train went forever, though. That's probably why my thing ran out. <laughs> Actually, see one of them in real life. <laughs> they were awesome. It's everything I expected. 
I haven't seen no tumbleweed yet. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought there'd be tumbleweed everywhere. All right, so I'm, I'm on like a weird dirt track, complete dirt track, it's not a real road. My sat nav took me up this one road and apparently it's a private road, I don't know. The, the, the lady said it's owned by Indians and I'm not allowed on it. And then the other road is the highway right there. So I asked her, like, how, how can I get there? I'm, I, I'm not allowed on the highway and I can't go on this private road. And she said, go on this dirt road. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh. Please, I hope my, I hope my, oh. <laughs> I hope I don't get stuck. The sun is uh, coming down low now on day two. I'm somewhere near Haugen Lehmann. I don't know if you can hear me. Oops, I'm zoomed in. I'm somewhere near Haugen Lehmann. I mean, look at the mountains. They look so good, look. Sunset, that's beautiful. Oh, with the flag. Oh, that looks cool. Another dirt road, and I'm stuck. Was, uh, that's one of the worst days of my life. Oh, the first 60 miles were nice. And then uh, oh, I got onto the highway. It was mental, cars zooming past. I think we've done around 110 miles today. I wanted 120, but I just couldn't go any more. So I've just found a closer hotel. Oh, I need to go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh God. Look at my lips. I need to drink more. Uh, morning. All right, so I'm just driving down the road and uh, I see this sign. Look at it. What's this? Wildlife crossing next five miles. Turtles or tortoises, whatever. Snakes. Fox. I want to see some snakes. But then I don't at the same time. What if there's one here? Look at this, I've just realized, look at this. When I turn my scooter on, it tells you how many miles you've done right now. So I've just done 6.5 miles. You turn it off, turn it back on. I've done 171 miles in total. I bought this brand new at zero. So I've done 170 miles so far, which is crazy, but I've got 3,000 to go. Yo, look at this, look at this. The mountains just look like piles of little rocks. It looks like like a, like you've just swept a pile of dust together, but big. And yeah, I'm, I'm riding on the highway right now. I pulled over, I'm safe. I'm riding on the highway because it's the only road. I didn't think I were allowed on the highway. I've had to do some research. Apparently I am. I'm just not allowed on freeways. I don't like filming on here, so I've got to go. I love you and leave you and see you in a little bit. Bitches! I don't know where I am, but it's really windy. I don't know what this is either, but I've, I'm, uh, apparently I've got to drive through this. Marine Corps Air, Air Ground Combat Center. I don't know what Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center is, but uh, apparently I've got to drive through it. Wish me luck. I'm not allowed through. I've got to go miles round. Why do this to me, Google Maps? Keep sending me down private roads. I got a little bit scared then. So basically, what happened is the power kept cutting. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Like, look at that, look at the road, nothing. Look at the road that way, nothing. And then, yeah, the power started like cutting in and out. And then I, f I figured out that one of the battery connectors were loose. So I've tightened that up and we seem good to go now, but it makes you realize, you know, like what if it was something out of my control that broke and I'm just stuck here, middle of nowhere, no no scooter, no movement, nothing. You know, I mean, it's, it's scary stuff and it, it makes you realize what could go wrong. It's just, it's scary, it's scary stuff. Like a never ending road. That's insane, let me see if I can zoom in. It just keeps going and going and going and going right over to the mountains. And I'm on it all the way. I'm on it all the way. Damn, it's so windy. And what's this way? Nothing. 
Oh, what's this way? Nothing. <laughs> oh, what's over here? Nothing. <laughs> I've eaten since that chicken sandwich yesterday, that burger. I've not had time. It's crazy how hot the desert gets in the day, but then at night, it's so cold. I mean, the sun is just, just going down. You can just see it. I've had to put long trousers on. I've got gloves on. I've got my hat. I'm gonna put this face mask on in a minute to keep my, my face warm. I've been on this same road for the last four or five hours. There's no one around, absolutely nothing. It's freezing cold. Every time you get to the top of a hill, there's just nothing. There's more of nothing, look. I've still got all that way to go. You see that, that light there? I've still got to go all the way over there. I've still got miles to go. I've got so far to go. The sun is going down. Where am I staying tonight? What if I don't get to a hotel? Have I just got to keep going? The, the engine started spluttering, so obviously it ran out of petrol. So I stopped, pulled over, poured more petrol, and now I won't start back up. I'm in the middle of absolute nowhere. There's absolutely nothing anywhere. Nothing, nothing, no buildings. I've not seen a building for hours. Cars, no cars. No one's coming past. And now my engine won't work, and my internet, I've got no connection. I've got no, no signal for internet. So my sat nav has gone down. Panic mode is kicking in. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord! No, what? What's that? What is that? I swear to God, I've just seen a, a UFO. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. That look, at first I thought it was a UFO, then I thought, oh no, it's just a helicopter. And then I thought, no, that's not a helicopter, man. What? I swear to God, that looked like a UFO. Oh, it looked like the world's biggest drone. I don't know, man. I had to pull over and grab my camera. What? I can't believe it. Civilization. I can't believe it. Civilization. It's been hours! It's been hours! It's, it's literally been like hundreds of miles since I've seen buildings. Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful! Got some, uh, some snacks, some drink, got some Pringles, energy drink. I think we're about 20 miles roughly to the next hotel. And then I can call that a day. I think the next hotel is actually in the next state as well. Ignore the hair, Jesus Christ. <laughs> my lips, oh, my lips are done. All right, so I'm just crossing a bridge. I don't know if you can hear me because I got two, two face masks on, I'm so cold. We're just crossing a bridge right now. And then apparently when I get to the other side of the bridge, I'm in a different state. I think I'm in Nevada then, which is like where Vegas is and stuff. Oh wait, it's not Nevada, it's Arizona. What? Well, I thought we were going to Nevada. Wait, wait, wait. Welcome to Arizona! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Finally in the hotel, I bought this like bag of food. I've got some like water, like an egg thing. Well, I think I've lost an hour as well. I think there's like a time zone change. I don't know, because I think it's like, it's nearly midnight now. Yeah, I've lost an hour sleep. Great. 
Just what I needed. I think I'm sunburned on my face, back of my neck as well, and just randomly this leg. So I've just been looking. So that's where I am right now. And then if I zoom out, you can see that like, I've already gone a long way from all the way down, down here somewhere, all the way across there. But then when you zoom out even more, you can see I've got a long way to go. There's a big difference between here and the UK. In the UK, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're usually just a few miles from like a town or a city or a village. But here, when you're in the middle of nowhere, it's like you're going to die if you don't sort yourself out. This is a dangerous, this isn't a game, this is dangerous. And as well as all the dangerous animals, I think the most dangerous animal I've ever seen in the UK is a fox. If they bite, they, they can make you bleed a bit. Here they got like poisonous snakes and stuff roaming around. This is... I'll see you tomorrow. Need that sun cream on today. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, I need chapstick. <laughs> Two eight seven. Oh, did I do like 120 miles yesterday? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. I've got another 100 to do today, so uh, let's get going, baby. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but the reason I wear this in the day is because it keeps the sun off my head so I don't get sunstroke. It's nice. You know, it keeps you cool in the day. It keeps you hot in the night. So I'm driving along. I'm thinking I'm in the middle of the desert, absolute nowhere, right? And then, all of a sudden, boom! Massive lake! Beautiful! Houses around, people live, people live here. There's boats over there, I can see jet skis over there. It's massive! It goes right, it goes right over there, and right, right, right down there. I just looked on Google Maps and apparently it's Colorado River. It's a river, not a lake. I've got to have this thing on because it stops the wind hitting my chap lips and they're so sore. I've got the flat road there and now I've got to take a right which is up there. Yes! Yes! Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Look at this. I'm in the mountain. <laughs> what? I'm in the Arizona mountains, bro. Some good news. Some good news. Chapstick. I got chapstick. I've also got a large macaroni salad. I've never had a, a macaroni salad before. So uh, let's give it a go. Mmm. Looks like a random petrol station, gas station, whatever. We've got a chicken over there. River Island Market. I like your uh, macaroni salad, thank you. Peace. I'm gonna eat this. And then chapstick my lips up. Yeah, boy. Damn. Damn. I don't know why it don't look that good on camera. It's so windy though. It looks amazing. You could just see the lake over there, all the mountains. Damn. America is massive. <laughs> I can't believe it! Police pulled me over! They pulled me over! He, 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 he was just laughing. I told him everything, what I'm doing, where I'm going. He says he got like 10 phone calls. People uh, ringing in saying I'm on the highway, on my scooter. And I said there's no, there's no other way for me to get where I'm going. Other than the highway. He asked for my license, so I gave it him. And then he, he walked off with it. That's when I filmed. The, the car behind me and then he come back laughing he just says I can't even run checks on this because it's 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 from England I can't and then he just he escorted me for about two or three miles and then he drove off <laughs> he like spoke to me he's got like a speakerphone he says good luck dude see you later <laughs> that was insane yeah Woo! How far have I gone? How long have I been driving? I'm 
all in Brody on the line, I'm tapping in Got out here pulling the strings for me A girl on the line, she, she feeling me Preoccupied by the motivation Put in the time, pay the entry fee Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice Inside of my mind, no one's real as me Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe what's just happened. Oh. So the police pulled me over. He escorted me into a resting area because I, weren't, I was on a road I weren't meant to be. He gave me this warning, he gave me this written warning. Uh, I explained it was a, a big mistake. I didn't know I weren't meant to be on the road. He, un he understood, he just gave me the warning. So. He escorted me to a resting area where like truckers go, truckers go and sleep. He said if I go back on that road, he's going to arrest me. And there was no other way to get onto a normal road. So, <laughs> so I found two, two Mexican guys with a pickup truck. I've just paid them $20 each. And we've just uh, told me, <laughs> we've, just, we've just brought the scooter here. So I've got to put my trailer back on now and uh, keep going I guess I think I've still got like 30 miles to go that was eventful <laughs> that was eventful <laughs> I'm completely stuck I'm in the middle I'm like there's absolutely nothing anywhere I've tried pushing it, I've tried pulling it, I've tried full ball, power, try and push it and it's completely stuck. I literally, I have 28 miles of this road and it's the only way to the next town without the road, going on the road that I'm not meant to be on. I'm a mile and a half in and this has happened. Literally nothing around. Believe it. We're on actual road. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's this like flooring, the dirt paths there. I'm on actual road. Honestly, I thought that were it. I, I th honestly thought that I was that was it. I was gonna be stuck. And I was thought I was gonna have to abandon the scooter and walk. I'm not going on any dirt tracks ever again. I thought, honestly, I thought the worst. I was freaked out so much. I just kind of went into like adrenaline Hulk mode. I think I broke the seat. Like the seats look, look, it's all like messed up now. So that's not good. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just keep going on the road a bit. And uh, let's see if I can get there, man. This is one of the worst nights of my life. God, thank God I got home. Well, thank God I got to a hotel. I'm gonna stay at this hotel now for two nights. I need a day off after that day. I need to recover from that. I need to keep putting chapstick on. I need to hydrate up, eat some more food. 
before I get back out of there because it's it's a dangerous game. Anyway, I'm uh, just had a shower. I'm gonna get get into bed. I'll see you in two days. All right, so it's been two days since uh, the absolute tragic day that just happened. I basically just spent the whole of yesterday sulking in my hotel room, just kind of just laid there, curtains shut in the dark, thinking, why am I doing this? What's my life come to? My lips are just in pain. I got coleslaws coming. My seat's still broke. If you look at the seat, it just kind of does this now by itself there's no stopping it but it's all right we've still only got two and a half thousand miles to go and i've got to put up with a dodgy seat Fuck! so i was laid there in the bed yesterday just sulking and i thought you know what this is a trip of a lifetime let's just get on with it so i went to walmart i bought a new hoodie i thought i'd go with the the visi the high vis colors so people can see me got some new shoes because mine were wrecked this is just ten dollars ten dollars what got some new gloves as well bit thicker I need them on this morning because it's freezing oh yeah and another thing that's happened to the bike since we got stuck in the sun the brake lights out these lights work these all don't work the indicators the brakes light everything don't work and I've had a look it's because all these cables here have like snapped <sighs> so I'm gonna have to fix that tonight I've only got 80 miles today which is a short one compared to normal so I'll get there I'll fix the cables there's nothing I can do about the seat setting off from here which is a Kingsman, I think. I'm going to go into a town called Seligman. I'm drinking Arizona in Arizona. <laughs> Bucket list checked off. Oh, God. Ugh. I don't know what's happened. Jesus Christ, it's cold. I've got like, I've just put like a thermal thing on. I've got three t shirts on, a sweater, and this hoodie. And it's still cold. I walked to Walmart yesterday in shorts. What's happened? I feel like I'm near the Grand Canyon. I'm not sure though. I've seen signs for it and look at this. Look, look, look. Look at the mountains over there. Don't they just look like Grand Canyon type mountains? Look at this view. The only problem is I've got like zero signal on my phone. So I can't check how close I am to it. I've always wanted to see it though. I've got this massive microwave pack of mac and cheese. I'm looking forward to eating that later as well. <laughs> so I've been on this same road all day. All day. Uh, it's Route 66. It's called Highway 66. So today I've done like uh, 80.6 miles. Police again, three times, one trip. My scooter's gone, my scooter's been taken away and uh, I've been sent home, I've been sent home, back to England. <laughs> God damn it, it's not possible, it's not possible. You can't be done, too many people calling the police. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, smash that like button, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, peace.